Tim, thanks very much for joining me. It's good to see you. Well, thanks, Liz. And the rain is uh, over. The rain, the rain has passed, and uh, looks like it's going to be a beautiful day for both uh, the next two days, Saturday and Sunday. And hot. <laughs> and hot. Yeah, well, you know, um, middle of July in upstate New York, that's what you, you better be prepared for. And right. um, a little, probably a little humidity. Hopefully our runners are going to be prepared for it and have been hydrating. This is your fourth year as director? This is my fourth year as director. And how are you feeling? Uh, you know, Liz, I think one of the things is is that I have a kind of a reality that 99% um, of the stuff that I needed to get done is, is over. Right. So now, to a large extent, it's now in the hands of the runners and, uh, and God uh, that everything's going to be okay because I can't. We've put everything in place. Um, the table is set and now is the time for the meal. Well, what we're talking about it actually is a participation on Sunday of the day of the event of 20,000 people. Correct. I mean, that's you're, this is a city of 62,000 people. Yeah, and we'll end up with probably 45,000 people behind the brewery. As a matter of fact, Catherine Switzer said the one day that burglars probably should be hitting the houses in Utica would be um, <laughs> on Boilermaker Sunday. Well, and I we'll put, and we'll put, We'll put probably 20 to 25,000 people on the street as spectators. This is a very unique race. Yeah, I have done this race uh, twice now, actually. I'm not doing it this year. Neither are you. No, neither apparently. am I. Um, but it is unusually um, community oriented. Correct. And it is known for the, part the participation, actually, in sort of a friendly rivalry of neighborhoods. Right, we have four neighborhoods that kind of go against each other um, East Utica. Uh, South, South Utica, uh, West Utica, and New Hartford, New Yorkville. So, and what we have now is three of the four neighborhoods actually have themed miles. Oh, really? So, um, East Utica has the International Mile, and you know, Utica has become a very diverse community. Oh, yeah. So, you've got all those. You've got um, belly dancers. You've got uh, people playing the maracas. At like eight o'clock in the morning. Absolutely. Right. And you know, you'll see some people that I've seen some belly dancers that were that I really remember, and some that I really don't want to remember. I mean, it was <laughs> fine. And I then, don't remember any belly dancers, so, uh, just for the record. And then record. we have uh, what's new for us this year is we have a first responders mile, which is being done by South Utica. Oh, nice. And then we have a patriotic mile, which is going to have a lot of both current and former members um, of Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marines that are going to be there cheering people on. We'll have kind of more martial music. and. Uh, What's so, the history or the genesis of, uh, this is the 34th, obviously, so it's correct. been around for a while, but the genesis of the community participation, I mean, in, in the beginning you had like 800 people right. running, now yeah. you've got 20,000 people in the 15, 5K and the walk combined. Correct. And, so, and, and we'll end up, you know, tomorrow we'll end up with 1,800 kids doing the kids run. And mm -hmm. uh, so it's just, it's amazing. This community just has embraced this. And I, and sometimes it, it drives me crazy with this community is, is that I sometimes feel like we're these um, fundamentalists beating ourselves on the back saying, you know, things are bad, but don't worry, they'll be worse. <laughs> and, uh, but yet this weekend, for some reason, everything clicks. And I just sit and say, you know, if we can do this, we can do this 52 weeks a year mm. rather than just Boilermaker Week. And, um, you know, I look at this as a, as a, quite frankly, as a tool. I'd love to look at this as somebody, we've, we've lost a lot of young people. This is the one weekend when this town shines. And if somebody says, you know what, I'm sick and tired of driving 128 in Boston, you know, and losing two to three hours with my family, mm. this community looks like kind of a pretty cool place. And if I could get some of those people to come back again, that that would make my day. Yeah, it's actually the race is it can't be oversold as how important it is from an economic standpoint, right. from a community pride standpoint. Correct. I mean, this is it for you guys. I just saw the latest economic numbers from the uh, from the tourism bureau that I just saw this week, and the direct numbers that we know that are happening from it, irregardless of the monies that we spend or whatever, is eight million dollars for this weekend. Oh wow, that's a little higher than the estimate. The original right. estimate was seven point four. Yeah. So um, where are you putting it, everyone? Um, we've got people, you know, everywhere. I mean, a lot of this is a huge reunion weekend. This is when families come back together again. But we'll sell out, you know, pretty much all the way from Syracuse, and we're, we'll probably start touching Albany. So, if you know, if you're going to be driving the thruway, you know, we're going to have. Yeah, I mean, it, I would love to see. I've only heard about it, about what it is like at the rest stops driving in here. It, 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 I, I guess it looks somewhat akin to what a Grateful Dead concert must be. A lot of, be fit of people, them. I can but, tell but you. they're very fit. <laughs> yes, they're you know, very they're not fit. in the tie dye like the Grateful Dead, but <laughs> very fit people. But you know, you just see them all coming in. It's wonderful. You know, and I warn people around here and say, listen, 
everyone's got to take a chill pill because you know we're going to have a ton of people here right. now I'm going to tell you something I think traffic jams are a heck of a lot better to have than tumbleweeds going across the road so you know, it's 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 a fun time. It's a time when this community just really feels good about itself. Was it, is it true that there once was a bumper sticker that said, "The last person in Utica, please turn out the lights"? Well, probably there was. <laughs> um, you know, it's uh, it's it's a tough town. It is. It's a tough town. But yet, I think it's funny. Yet, saying that this community does things. You know, we have the American Great American Heart Run and Walk. You know, you raise a million dollars in this community, in a community that clearly is not the most affluent in New York State, let alone, you know, the United States. So, you know, how does it happen? How do we end up, I mean, how do I end up with, I have nearly 4,000 volunteers. I have almost as, I have as many volunteers as Boston New York Marathon. Where do these people and come from? And it's an from? elite race. You have elite runners here. Absolutely. Actually. And Absolutely. these people are doing this course in 40 some odd, is yeah, that right? 43 minutes. Right. And it's a hard course, actually. It's, it's a very, it is a very hard course. This is not, this is a course that is not for babies. This is not, it's not flat. <laughs> uh, you know, Governor that Pat, go Governor Pat is the, yeah. you, you could change the course to avoid the golf course at the fifth or so, and right. I would be happy with that. Well, yeah. Governor Patterson had said after he finished, and he actually ran a pretty good time. He's a quick guy. Um, he said, whoever said that there's just one hill or whatever it is is the biggest liar in the world. <laughs> and I said, Governor, I'm going to tell you something. As soon as they say the course is challenging, that means harder than hell. Has it always been this course? It has not changed it in 34 always, years? It has always been this course. And it was interesting how it was laid out, basically, and how we kind of came up with a 15, we worked a 15K was. The companies that really, who, who the company that actually I worked for, and we wanted to make sure that it ended up at the brewery. So, you know, you just kind of work the streets, and that's how you ended up with 15K. And it's an unusual distance, actually. There aren't a lot 15K of... 15K is a very unusual distance. You see, you know, any on any given weekend, you could probably find four or five 5Ks everywhere. 10K, some. Uh, 15K is unusual. The next big number, and actually the hottest distance that you'll see in American running right now is the half marathon. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's a train. This is actually a training race. This for is that. a this is a training race for for half. What um, do you think is before I let you go? And I know that you've got a lot of last minute details to yeah. attend to. What do you think is the appeal for political types? Because you had Elliot Spitzer and. The only thing that John Passo managed to win that year, actually, yeah. <laughs> they, ran, they ran the 5K. It was great. It was very dramatic. Mm -hmm. And you have Bob Duffy, the lieutenant governor, this right. year is running. Uh, he's run before, apparently. Yes, he has. So what do you think that's about? Well, um, you know, you cannot, you can never minimize, um, you know, 45,000 people in front, in, in front of people. You know, Senator Schumer is always usually here. Yes, but he doesn't run. No, he doesn't <laughs> run. He doesn't run. Well, I, I, you know, it's... Um, Running's an interesting, is just a very interesting sport if you think about it. Mm. Um, it's the only sport that you could probably be involved in where you can be shoulder to shoulder running against the fastest people on the planet. There's probably, you know, you could be a great fan of the NFL. That does not necessarily mean that you get to play next to. Oh, no, uh, you know, but, you know, it's, it's just, you know, you, you, you can't play with Tiger Woods or whatever it is. Yet for one brief shining moment, you can rub you can rub shoulders with with the fastest people this this earth has. Yeah, that's a good point. Which is pretty cool. It's a it's a very I mean I think it's a very social thing. And in the end of the day, it's really it's 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 you and the clock. And uh, uh, so it's 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 uh, it's fun. I, I tend to be a solitary runner, but then there's other people that that's their their gig is that I yeah. run with four or five people and we solve the problems of the world. Well, hopefully there will be a lot of problems solved on Sunday and no problems created. No problems That's what we created. Wish for we you. want we want safe runners. You know, hopefully they've been hydrating. We haven't had, we've had a couple fatalities uh, over our 34 years, and, and I'm fortunate that that has not happened under my watch. And um, so hopefully we're going to have another safe well, run. Well, we'll think good thoughts for you. Thanks, Tim Reed, well, for coming. Well, thank around. you very much, and we're gonna we're gonna see you next year. Yes, I will be here, and I'm, I'm gonna bring the whole team. <laughs> <laughs> That's very nice of you to volunteer the whole group. Oh yeah, they're all be here. Thank you very good. much. Great. Thank you, Liz.